let me tell you something, all right? It is the 500th episode. It is the 5th of mayonnaise. And for you folks that don't understand what the hell that means, it's Cinco de Mayo. And, you know, uh, it's a baller Friday on top of that. So, you know, folks, I've been somewhat on the wagon to some extent here. Now, I did go buy a couple of bottles of... I bought a couple of bottles of Dom P, you know? Yeah. Yeah, hey, I'm a capitalist. I do that kind of stuff, man. I, I, got, a, I got a couple of bottles of Dom P here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of them in the freezer because I, I want it ice cold, baby. I want it ice cold. And we're going to be popping bottles here in about a few minutes, all right? We're going to be popping bottles. It's the 500th episode of True Capitalist Radio. Don't you understand that? I mean, good God! <laughs> Woo! Not even the loser haters could keep this damn show down, can't they? <laughs> Woo! Oh my God! Anyway, I, I'm telling you, I, I'm feeling good. I, I'm feeling great. It's the 500th episode, Baller Friday, the Cinco de Mayo. I'm feeling great. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling great. And I just want to make a reminder to all you haters that are listening to me out there. Keep listening, baby. You're making me money. Keep listening. <laughs> Keep giving me your fruity-ass, faggy energy. I like it. <laughs> Woo! Baby, I am energized today on this Baller Friday 500th episode. Let me tell you something, man. We're going to do a 500 more. We're going to do a 1,000 more. We're going to do whatever it takes, baby. All right, True Capitalist Radio is here to stay. Go stay going nowhere. (laughs) Well, that being said, I think it's about time. Hey, engineer, do we got any goddamn Twitter or Gab shout-outs to be had on this damn uh, 500th episode here? Well, before we get to them, I do want to reiterate, folks, that I am excited as hell that we are celebrating 500 episodes. I can't believe this. 500 episodes of True Capitalist Radio Broadcast. I'm not even joking. I'm I'm not even kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited, for Christ's sake, man. Oh, my God. And, you know, I'm sure that even the haters that are out there, they, they can't get enough of it. Look at them. I can feel them. I, I can feel them flap their fat Cheeto-stained fingers on the keyboard. These furries and these idiots that hate me, they can't get enough of me, can't they? <laughs> you can't get enough of me, huh? Keep on, keep on, keep on. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, baby. Oh, my God, you guys are helping me out. You know what I'm saying? You guys are helping me out, baby. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, with that being said, let's continue going here. Who, who who do we got here? Who do we got going on here as far as Twitter shout-outs is concerned? And, oh, yeah, by the way, folks, we are going to be selling some El Foxo homo merch or loco merch. And we're going to be putting that on sale tomorrow, all right, uh, on the Saturday Night Troll Show. And what we are going to do is we are going to commemorate HIV AIDS with that merch that is going to be put on uh, Ghost.Market by tomorrow. It is going to commemorate HIV AIDS because, folks, we we need to put a, a point of emphasis on that. And what it's going to do, folks, we are going to commemorate uh, the El Foxo Homo, uh, or excuse me, El Foxo Loco, excuse me, by uh, this merch that we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to pretend it's an HIV positive card. And on the back of the card, it's going to say there's nothing negative about being positive, El Foxo Loco, to commemorate HIV AIDS. I'm not joking, folks. Tomorrow it's going on sale, baby. Tomorrow it's going on sale. (laughs) Oh, I love it, baby. 
Anyway, with that being said, let's get to some goddamn Twitter shout-outs, all right? Let's go ahead and get to some Twitter shout-outs, all right? Now, with that being said, Twitter shout-outs, folks, all you got to do is retweet the first tweet on my Twitter account, all right? All right, and, and, and the tweet to retweet is True Capitalist Radio Live, all right? <laughs> True Capitalist Radio Live. Anyway, uh, do we got some goddamn Twitter shout-outs there, Engineer? All right, well, let's go ahead and get to some Twitter shout-outs. Right now! <laughs> All right, who we got here? We got, uh, I'm not going to say that disgusting name. Uh, we've got Edgar Reigns. We got uh, Pipes in the house. What's going on to Pipes? Uh, we've got Deepest Clover, whatever the hell that means. Finchy Bird. Who else do we have here? We got, uh, I'm not going to say that disgusting name for Christ's sake. We've got... Uh, Super happy 500 ghost. Hey, thank you very much. The deer from Impanema. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Who else we got? We got Vivian HD in the house. Uh, we've got uh, happy 500 from Smiler. What's going on? We've got 500 days you won't get back. Well, yeah, 500 days I won't get back, but uh, I've got a great inner circle. I've got great freaking fans, the best fans that I think anyone could ever have, as far as I'm concerned. Even those fruit bowls that hate me that may or may not be HIV positive, okay? All right, I mean, serious. I think that, in my opinion, I think the AIDS might be getting to some of those people's heads. You know what I'm saying? And that the AIDS might be getting to some people's heads, and, you know, it's, it's what happens, you know? That's why I always say, you know, I'd like an AIDS check on people that are doing, like, weird, bizarre behavior. I'm serious. I mean, I, I, I'd like an age check on people that are really doing bizarre behavior, man, especially if they're taking, uh, you know, a penis in the uh, nether region of the Sun Don't Shine area. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, because sometimes I just don't understand the logic behind some of these people, specifically homosexuals. I hate to say it, like homosexual men. You know, when they start going off keister and start doing things like a D. Ray McKesson or start doing things like a Scott Fovel from the uh, uh, Project Veritas videos, I, I, I just have to assume that there's something wrong there. And I think that's why, if you want my view, we are going to be, uh, we're going to be, you know, selling some merch. You know, to commemorate HIV, we need, we need, we need some focus. We need a point of emphasis. That people that may be uh, afflicted with the HIV AIDS may be a little off in the head. They may not be right up there. And if you want my personal opinion, folks, I mean, I strongly believe that if people do have the AIDS, I mean, I think that should be strongly monitored, not just because they may be a toxic uh, hazard to the community because they're going to just go and stick, you know, whatever, but I'm also talking about their mental capacity, folks. I mean, you know, I strongly believe that when people are afflicted with this, they something goes wrong with their head. You know, something goes wrong with their head, for Christ's sake. You know what I mean? And here we've got uh, we've got King King Edward Undead. Hey, hey, King Edward Undead, are you okay, man? I mean, I know about your father's situation, you know, I mean, he's in prison for, you know, sexual abuse or whatever the case might be. I mean, why don't you kind of step off there, King Ed Undead, all right, buddy? All right, take about 10 steps away from my freaking butt crack, all right? Nobody wants to hear from you, all right? Nobody wants to hear from you. I, I know, I know you want a show. I know you want to be one of these people like, hey, it's Eddie Hinkle here. How you doing? Jesus Christ. Anyway, look, I'm digressing here. I'm supposed to be taking Twitter shout-outs, and, and, and instead, what am I doing? I'm getting, I'm getting yanked away by tards, for Christ's sake. Anyway, look, all I'm saying is, is that we need to commemorate AIDS, and we're going to push that merch tomorrow. All right? we're, that's what we're doing. We're pushing the merch tomorrow, baby. We're doing it! <laughs> Woo! Oh, my God. Anyway, 
Let's continue. Who, who do we got here? We've got uh, Corn Waffle. We've got Make uh, what is this? Make Australia Great Again. Let's continue. Who else do we have here? Once again, uh, let's just go ahead and continue to uh, you know take Twitter shout outs, shall we? Who else do we have here? We've got uh, Maple Leaf Capitalist. We've got Happy 500th, my man. What's going on? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Age check on El Foxo. Yeah, no kidding. Jesus Christ. No kidding. Somebody needs to call Limerick, Ireland, and, and take a look at the AIDS people on that list. Uh, I'm just saying. We've got uh, Shekel de Goyam. What the hell is that supposed to mean, Shekel de Goyam, asshole, all right? We've got, uh, I'm not going to say that disgusting name, Jew or not to Jew. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Jimmy Howe in the house. We've got Herman Cain 2020. Well, now that, that's if, uh, you know, Donald Trump doesn't want to run for re-election. I think that he's going to. He's going to do it, all right? I mean, Donald Trump is kicking ass and taking names to say the least, all right? We've got Taco Bell for Ghost. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, man. I wouldn't, I, you know, I wouldn't feed that to the poor. Are you kidding me? I don't like Taco Bell. I'm sorry. I, I don't like it. I think it's gross. But, hey, some people feed their kids on it. You know, what are you, what are you going to do? we got the green bio in the house. We've got Trolls 500 Ghost Zero. Yeah, yeah, real funny ass crack, all right? Real funny. Real funny. Let's continue going. Who else do we have here, folks? Once again, retweet the first tweet on my Twitter account, and I will give you a Twitter shout-out live right here on the broadcast. Who else do we have here? We got uh, El Gosto Homo. Yeah, real funny, idiots. All right. We've got uh, 500 more to come. Thank you very much. Dos Equis for Ghost. No, I don't think so, man. I'm going I'm to be, uh, be popping a bottle of Dom P, baby. Uh, that's what I'm going to be. I'm going to be popping a bottle of Dom P. Sell Teutonic Plague merch. No, fuck, what the hell are you talking about? Jesus Christ. Uh, we've got, uh, I'm not going to say that disgusted name either. I'm only going to take a couple more of these Twitter shout outs. All right. I'm feeling good, baby. It's my 500th episode. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling wonderful. We got Sergeant Yoda. What's going on? We've got 500 hover rounds, whatever the hell that means. We've got the green leader in the house, silent capitalist in the place. What's going on? We've got Chris Hyde in the house. What's going on? We've got Laggett, happy mask merchant. Who else do we have here? As a matter of fact, let me give some inner circle shout-outs. Since, uh, you know, we've got, um, we've got this 500th episode going on here. What's going on to Azalea? What's going on to Kingfish, baby? What's going on? How you doing? What's going on to Insane Energy? What's going on to BN King Super Green Leader Silence? New York City NYT TC Capitalist King Harless. What's going on to Johan? We've got Capitalist Kush. Stop reading my name. Capitalist Ghost 300. Forest Unicorn. Benton Bannon. Reverend Friars. Uh, we've got Hambone Capitalist. We got Pudge Montana, Norwegian Capitalist, Big Tough Capitalist, Spark Synapse, Commander Biff, Venison in the place. What's going on? The Smiler. I'm telling you this right now. This is a 500th episode. We're going to have 500 more, baby. Because I will walk 500 miles and I will walk 500 more. What's going on to BP, Miss Amy Daly? What's going on to Metroid Junkie? What's going on to Mark Montag? What's going on to Melly? Anyway, I'm going to take a couple of more uh, Twitter shout-outs, and then, uh, you know, if they start uh, sucking the chrome up off a 57 Chevy bumper, then we're moving on. Then we're moving on, moving on, moving on, and moving on. Who do we have here, folks? All right. One, one more again. We're going to go one more again. What's going on to Mike? Who else do we have here? We've got uh, Raiden Pony. Uh, shut up, you stupid moron. we got Junica R. in the house. We've got uh, CDI Fan 237. we got got, uh, I'm not going to say that disgusting name, Ann and the Wizard in the house. 
We've got uh, Montag Happy 500. Thank you very much, man. What's going on to uh, stop reading my name again? Ghostic Streaking. Yeah, shut up. Ghostic Screeching. I mean, not streaking. I, what the hell? Streaking? No, I'm talking about streaking. We got Twilly Atkins. We got, uh, I'm not going to say that disgusting name. We got Gabe, uh, Fr- Gabe Voorhees. Get out of here. I saw you liking your little pony tweets. All right. Get out. Get out of here. We got Hans Volker in the house. Uh, we've got, uh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Uh, ghost Jew. Yeah, here we go with the Jew stuff, for Christ's sake. Yeah. There we go. Here we go with the Jew stuff, for Christ's sake, man. Anyway, we've got uh, 500 echo chambers. What the hell does that mean? Stupid moron. Time to retire at 500? Yeah, right. Shove it up your ass. We got Taco Capitalist. Boycott El Foxo merch? Okay, okay, oh yeah, I'm sure. Are you kidding me? Everybody's going to want to buy a HIV AIDS commemoration. Like I said, it's going to show an HIV positive uh, result on one side. And on the back, it's going to say, there's nothing negative about being positive. El Foxo Loco, uh, you know your status or some shit like that. You know what I mean? I'm not even joking around. I'm not even joking around. And uh, you know what? I mean, if we sell, if we sell, a, if we sell a little bit, I might even write a check to uh, some AIDS place out here in San Hambonio. How about that? How about that? How about that? You know, after, after, you know, I'll help some AIDS patients out here with some of that money. All right. Anyway, who else do we have out here? We got uh, Mr. Kruger in the house. Drinko de Mayo. Drinko de Mayo, who else do we have here? I'm not joking around either, man. I'll write a check. I'll I'll make sure to give – I'll freaking – I'll show the receipt. You know what I'm saying? I'm not joking around. I, I will make sure to put it to an age charity, uh, you know, a good portion of the money. I mean, obviously some of it's going to go to me because, you know, hey, I'm the, I'm the talent, baby. I'm the talent. <laughs> But uh, I will. I'm not joking around. I mean, that's what we're going to do. There's nothing po- There's nothing negative about being positive, all right? There's nothing negative about being positive. Anyway, uh, anyway, these people on Twitter suck. Let's go to goddamn Gab, all right? All right, let's go to damn Gab for a little bit here, all right? And for you folks that are unaware, if you want a Gab shout-out, all you've got to do is repost the first post on my Gab account, and the Gab account is Politics Ghost. All one word, no underscores. Politics Ghost is the name on Gab to follow. Once again, repost the first post on my Twitter account, or Gab account. Do we got any Gab shout outs, Engineer? All right, let's get to some Gab shout outs here. We got. True Narcissist Radio, really? Huh? True Narcissist Radio? Just shove it up your ass, all right? We got Happy 500 from J-Man. Who else do we have here? We got, uh, I'm not going to say that disgusting name. Yeah, real funny, you idiot. We've got, uh, I'm not going to say these disgusting names. We have a 727 caller. We've got, uh, 500 days of squirrel shilling. Yeah, shut up with the squirrel crap. Stupid morons. We got the Brony Network in the house. Here's 500 more. Congrats, ghost from Shiny Pori. Thank you very much. Uh, Send El Foxo to the woodshed. Now he'd probably like it, you know? Uh, Who else do we have here? We got Hans Guvensmits in the place. Uh, we've got Ride or Die with TCR. You're damn right, baby. <laughs> we got C.K. Smith in the house, Green Leader in the place. There's Veteran Nationalist. What's going on? We got the Rookie in the house. Who else do we have? We got, uh, yeah, 500 episodes of Jewing. Yeah, real funny, you dickhead. We got Cuck Lives Matter. Uh, we've got, uh, I'm not saying that disgusting name. We got Silent Capitalist in the house. 
Uh, we've got, uh, I'm not going to say these sick names, you dumbasses, all right? 500 episodes of Deaf Mutes. Yeah, shut up, you stupid moron. Once again, uh, repost the first post on my Gab account, and I'll give you a Gab shout-out live right here on the broadcast right here and now. We've got Rur versus Marucha, whatever the hell that means. Uh, El Foxo Spike Cupcakes with AIDS. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Man, that's an actual name, too. That's funny. Uh, who else do we have here? Uh, once again, uh, repost the first post on my Gab account. Who do we have here? El Pazo Loco. <laughs> El Pazo Loco. Oh, my God. There's, but, hey, guys, come on, man. There's nothing negative about being positive, okay? All right? There's nothing negative about being positive, guys. Come on. All right? I mean, they just took a bad meat in a can, and that's it, all right? Who else do we got? We got RJ in the house. What's going on? We got... Uh, 500 episodes trolled by bronies. Yeah, shut up. All right? Just shut up with the brony crap. I don't even want to hear the word brony again. All right? I don't want to hear the word brony again. I'm serious. I'm sick of them. Jesus Christ, man. I mean, um, El Foxo Pazhole? Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys are getting too overboard with it. You know what I'm saying? You guys are getting too overboard with it, for Christ's sake. I mean, good. Like, El Foxo Glory Hole. I mean, come on, guys. Come on. Uh, anyway, once again, let's continue going. 516-453-9903 is the number to call. We're opening up the phone lines here. All right. Here we go. Who do we got here? How about four, two, three? You're on the horn. What's going on? Oh, girls, I'm so glad your wife died in that car accident. Now we can fuck all we want without her knowing. Let's just go ahead and take a piss on the cupcake, broad. Oh, oh God, yes, girls. Oh, yes. Stick your big cock down my throat and piss down it. Oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, get this, get this sick twisted, get this crap! God! Get sick ass crap out of here! Freaking! What kind of a disgusting fat broad would actually partake in that kind of recording? And secondly, this isn't radio graffiti, asshole! This is my 500th episode! We're supposed to be opening up the phone lines here! It's supposed to be a goddamn free format, you jerk! I'm telling you, whoever did that is a freaking fatty, and you know it, and I know it. All right? You know it, and I know it. Give me the freaking mic. Give me the mic. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. Look, I'm 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 trying to, you know, have a free format edition here. But it seems to me like we're going to have a bunch of milky-licking pieces of nipple clamp loving butt plug up the ass looking jerk dicks that are going to think that this is goddamn radio graffiti or some crap. This is not radio graffiti. I'm trying to have a free format conversation here. I mean, good God, man. Give me give me some more freaking Dom P, baby. Ah. Oh, yeah, man. You know what I like about uh, champagne? The effervescence. You know, the effervescence that it provides. You know, it kind of gets all the 
gets all the gases out and makes you want to burp. You know what I mean? I'm not joking. I'm not. I'm not kidding around there. Uh, you hear that effervescence, man? <laughs> oh man, that's for El Foxo. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, hey, Raiden Snake, are you there, man? Yes, it is, Ghost. Happy 500th anniversary. I, I, hey, man, I, thank you for calling, Raiden, man. I, thank you for calling. Look, I saw the tweets. I saw what you said, man. What? Well, why? What's going on, man? Well, like I said, I've just had enough of the shit I've had to put up with just lately, and I'm sorry that you've had to put up with it yourself. Do you know what I mean? It's just ridiculous what they're doing. It, it, I know it is ridiculous, and and look, I, I don't know if you heard me at the beginning of the broadcast. I was trying to read these damn trolls the riot act. I mean, I was trying to tell them that these people are disgusting, despicable human beings, and that I don't know. Whenever they congregate with one another and they decide that hey, I'm a cartoon fetish brony or whatever the case, and they congregate with one another, they decide to take action and literally cyberbully. That's what they're doing to you, in my opinion, there, Raiden Snake. They are cyberbullying you off the Internet, and I think it's a damn shame, and it makes me sick, and I just, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to combat this. I don't know how to tell you to combat this. I, I don't I don't know. Well, at the end of the day, I mean, I mean, like I said before, I'm not the only one that's done this to me. I mean, I mean, there's a few people that you can't stand now, but as you know, they've had exactly the same, put it bluntly, because of all the trolls. They've all caused this, every last one of them. Even though they won't blatantly admit it. Uh, I mean, well, what is their major malfunction, just from your observation? Because I don't get it. I know these people are a little sick in the head, just based upon, like, how much of fandom they are anesthetized with, based upon cartoons. I think there's a direct correlation with that. I, I don't get it. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. Well, like I said, I mean, this is the current blunt situation, from, and this is from everyone I've come or literally come across reading. They don't like people who are serious. They don't like Aussie people who just it's like talk normal stuff. Just they, they think it's absolutely fucking boring. They think it's they get it's like ugh, boring. Let's get a radio graffiti or Twitter shout. That's all they care about. They don't give a toss about anything else. And I think it's disgraceful. That's, you know, All that's they care about it. is radio graffiti and goddamn Twitter shoutouts. I mean, is that as simple as that? Well, that's pretty much what it is because that's because they've even blatantly admitted it. I mean, I mean, you can go on like on like on the Brony Network's YouTube. I mean, people are saying right now, "Oh, boring, get me off, get me off, get off." Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Oh, well, oh, I'm I'm a serious fag and stuff like that. Excuse my language and excuse, no offense for saying it, but that I'm sick and tired. Do you know what I mean, that, that's all they say and that's all they uh, do. They don't. And they're saying that people. on the Brony Network chat, right? Right, right. And they're saying What's that on just, that goddamn autistic screeching, spurning out goddamn well. Brony Network chat, aren't they? It's not just them, it's also other chats as well saying the exact thing. And even on Twitter, they don't like they don't like people who are serious. They don't they can't stand it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, hold on right there, Raiden Snake Man. I mean I, I I I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I try to get it. I try to just make sense of it, but there is no making sense from these people. And that's why, to be honest with you, I've been kind of, you know, going off on my own over here. I know that I've probably been hurting some people's feelings about some of these articles that I've been writing on Ghost Dot Report. Uh, look, I listened to yesterday's broadcast, man. I read the freaking adults that watch cartoons, the Riot Act. Are you kidding me? I mean, I, whoa! When I re when I reheard that, I was like, wow, wow, salty. But then again, you, I mean, I can't blame me. I can't blame you. I mean, look at these immature freaks. I mean, they're a danger to themselves. They're a danger to society. They're especially dangerous to children, as far as I'm concerned, because these are adults creating a fandom around a cartoon that was intended to be marketed to children. And I don't understand why nobody else doesn't think that's wrong. I'm just saying. I don't understand why nobody else doesn't think that there's something wrong with that picture. Good God. Look, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm riding for you, Raiden, all right? 
I'm telling you, don't let these ridiculous, disgusting, socially and disgustingly immature pieces of trash prevent you from calling up. I I think that you're one of my favorite callers out here, Raiden Snake, and for these people to be sitting here thinking that they can dictate anything on this show, they got another goddamn thing coming. This ain't a goddamn cartoon, you stupid dumb idiots. All right, you anal object aficionado, cuckold connoisseur, urinal cake curating pieces of nipple clamp loving butt plug up the ass looking chicken eating corn boy crap. You understand that? You see, now you're getting me all uptight on my goddamn 500th episode, man. This is my 500th episode. Do you understand me? It's mine. It belongs to me. Anyway, let me go ahead and take a sip of this here. Cheers to everybody out there who's listening to this 500th episode on the 5th of Mayo Mayonnaise. Cheers. Good stuff. Anyway, uh, let's continue going. All right, let's continue going, shall we? I want to take some calls here. Uh, Raiden Snake, hold on right there, man. We may be coming coming back to you. 516-453-9903. How about 713? You're on the horn on this Baller Friday, Cinco de Mayo, 500th episode edition. What's going on? Hey, what's up? Feliz Dia, Cinco de Mayo. It's your pet Mexican way. Hey, what's up? It's the pet Mexican. Orale, Vato. Orale, what's going on, man? How are you celebrating Simone Cinco Wade. de Mayo? Oh, man, I'm listening to you. I'm enjoying my day off, man. Everything is great, man. You sipping on that Don P, man? Oh, I wish I had some. Yeah, man, sipping on some Don P over here, man. I mean, I'm drinking a little rich today. Uh, I mean, I'm falling off the wagon, unfortunately. I've been pretty uh, clean as of late, but... Uh, you know, I mean, I, I got to celebrate. It's 500 episodes, that's it. 500 man. episodes, man. 500, man. That's a big achievement, man. We're ready for 1,000 now. Mil. Mil episodes. You're damn right. We need 1,000, man. Anyway, look, uh, do you have any thoughts on the broadcast? Do you have anything that you want to comment about? Anything that you want to say? The floor is yours, the pet Mexican. The floor is yours, my man. Well, not really. I mean, I'm I'm enjoying the show the way it is, and uh, these people, I guess, the whole Raiden Snake. I mean, they're just what these people need to understand. You need to stop giving Raiden Snake the attention because that's what they're doing. That's why Raiden Snake keeps uh, popping up, and uh, they keep giving him the attention. You know, you're wasting time. I'm here talking about Raiden Snake taking away time because you people give him attention. So that's one thing I wanted to get straight out, and I wanted to ask you some ghosts. Do you know what time it is? What time is it, man? I think it's time for you to drop that cowboy hat on the ground and do some For Lorico. I'm over the Oh, I'm doing some For Lorico. You got it, my pet Mexican. You got it. Hey, hey, engineer, uh, do you got some uh, Morvela Colorita? Well, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do it right now. Let's go ahead and do it right now. Put it on, baby. It's the 500th episode, Baller Friday, Cinco de Mayo, Fifth of Mayonnaise. We're doing four Lorico. That's what we're doing. Throw it on, engineer. Throw it on right now. Let's go ahead and do some four Lorico up in this son of a bitch. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Fifth of Mayonnaise. <laughs>
Amo de la colita. Happy 500 episodes. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Hopefully there's going to be 500 more, man. It's good to hear from you once again, uh, dude. Hey, thank you very much. And you're damn right there's going to be 500 more, baby. You're damn right there's going to be 500 more, for Christ's sake. 
Got myself a bottle of freaking dumb pee here, baby. Listen, listen to this. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, cheers to everybody out there who's listening. Cheers to the capitalist army. Cheers to the capitalist right. Cheers to the inner circle. And cheers to everybody who's listening to the broadcast. Whether you like me or you hate me, just keep listening, baby. Understand? Just keep listening. <laughs> Woo! Uh, feeling good, man. I'm telling you, if you have any kind of spare money and you want to party this weekend, I strongly advise people to get champagne. It's a great spirit. It makes you literally feel like a million bucks. I'm not joking around. It literally makes me feel like a million bucks. You know what I mean? (laughs) All right, who else do we got here? How about... uh, Oh, my God, I think we got the Arab Prince on the horn. Hey, Arab, Arab Prince, are you there, sir? Hey, Arab Prince, are you there, man? Hello, Arab Prince, you there? Well, I guess he's not there. Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought we had the Arab Prince on the horn there. I guess not. Let's continue going. Once again, 516-453-9903. Give me a call right now. I want to talk to you. What do you have to say? How about 540? You're on the horn. What's going on? Uh, Hey, Ghost. Can you hear me? Yeah, what's going on? We can hear you. Cool. Well, uh, you know, I just wanted to say uh, I'm a shiny pori on Twitter, and I just wanted to say thank you for everything you do, man. Uh, I've been listening since the return. And, uh, you know, thanks to you, I think I've gotten a lot more politically involved and – you know, I think I think you set me in a good position for the future, to say the least. And so, you know, I'm glad you keep broadcasting and, you know, keep doing what you're doing, man. And uh, don't let these man children on Twitter get you down like these bronies and whatnot, because they're not they're not doing anything with their life. We are the people that are going to get something done and we're going to become capitalists that are going to go into the future. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to go in the future somewhere, and we're going to get something done in life while these people don't get anything. Uh, they don't contribute anything to society. So thanks for what you do, man, and uh, I appreciate it. Happy 500th, and here's the 500 more. Hey, thank you very much there, Shiny Poor. I really appreciate the kind words of encouragement. I do agree with you. You know, we got a lot of these adult cartoon fetish idiots that are not going to be doing nothing but shining shoes. You know, they're going to be shining capitalist shoes, so that's pretty much all they're going to be doing. So, uh uh, hey, get used to it, all right, boy? Get used to it is all I got to say. <laughs> anyway, man, you know, um, I, I got to stop and think a little bit, folks, that just to think, last March is when yours truly came back and started broadcasting again after a five-year hiatus. And to think all the things that we've accomplished since then, man. I mean, we president now. <laughs> we president now. And on top of that, folks, I mean, just all the things that this show has been affiliated with from the WikiLeaks data dumps to, you know, unearthing certain information to uh, prognosticating certain things and uh So on and so forth, folks. I mean, it has been a strange yet very, very exciting trip, to say the least. And, you know, I have to say that I'm really really glad I came back. You know what? I'm really glad that I came back and started conducting this broadcast. And, you know, I know that I've got a lot of haters out there that are going to hate me. And let's be honest. I mean, they hate me because they ain't me, all right? They hate me because they ain't me, and they never will be me. And you know something? There's only going to be one one guy, one one bad guy that you're going to see like this. One time you're going to see a bad guy like this. You're never going to see a bad guy like this again. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, you'll never see a bad guy like this again. I'll tell you that right now, man. All right, so uh, with that being said, let me go ahead and uh, let me take a, let me, let me take a chug of this Dom P, baby. <laughs> Almost halfway done with a bottle, man. Uh, 
500 episodes. You know, we're approaching almost 2,000 hours. 2,000 hours of my life! 2,000 hours. I'm not even joking around. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a internet broadcasting career I have had, folks. I'll tell you that right goddamn now. How about uh, 213? You're on the horn. What you got to say? Hey, guys. I just wanted to say that I'm a big fan of yours. Um, I think you should get rid of all the bronies. Um And continue doing the cryptocurrency thing. I've made a lot of money thanks to you. Hey, I appreciate it. So you think that uh, the bronies, they should all go? Oh, definitely. I think they all need to get girlfriends and uh, do something with their lives other than watch a cartoon show made for little girls. Oh, 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 y'all just got burnt by a chick. You see, now let me ask you something, okay? Let me ask you something. Would you... Even if the man was fine and, and, you know, he was very attractive or whatever the case might be, would you ever consider being with somebody who admitted that they had a cartoon fetish or they were a brony or something of that capacity? No way. It would be a deal breaker. I'd, I'd break up with the dude as soon as he, like, if, if I found out that he was into my little pony or something like that, I'd break up with him. Now, what, if uh, if he did say that and... What what would be the purpose of you breaking up with him? Would you be concerned that this person is a little bit mentally deranged, borderline pedophilic, or it's just it's just bizarre? I just think that a grown man shouldn't be into that. I mean, I think it's like it's understood. It's like if you're 18, I guess it's okay. But like the older you get, it's like the more you need to kind of like move away from that stuff. Like I used to like cartoons when I was little, but not anymore. It's like you just need to grow out of that shit. Yeah, I agree. Thank you very much for calling up. I mean, each and every one of these adult cartoon fetish idiots just, they just got advice from a woman on why tonight, on Friday night, you're going to be sitting there playing with your own private parts while those of us that are capitalists are out here conducting ourselves with our significant others. Thank you very much, ma'am, for calling up. And, you know, I'm considering banning all bronies. I'm not joking around. Not just banning all bronies, banning anybody who is affiliated with this cartoon fetish nonsense. I'm tired of it. I'm, I'm tired of it. I mean, what I mean, who do who actually puts up with this crap? I mean, I'm going to be honest with you folks, if my son said he was a brony, I uh, I probably would have to give him a severe beating. I'm not even joking around. I mean, I'd have to give him a talking to, to say the least. You know what I mean? I'm not joking around. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't be able to accept the fact that my son is, for whatever reason, watching a cartoon that is geared and marketed towards little girls. I just, I, there's no way I could palette that. I mean, the, it's the proverbial, I brought you in this world, I'll take you out kind of thing. I don't think I could allow my son to do that without a severe beating. So, you know, that, that's what I was saying yesterday, that if these people were bullied in school, their bullies didn't do a good enough job. I mean, their bullies should have at least beat the goddamn brony out of these people. You know what I mean? I'm not joking around. They should have beaten the bronies out of these people, but they did it. And I blame the bullies, all right? I blame the bullies. I blame the bullies. I'm sorry, folks. I mean, you know, they should have they should have beaten the goddamn brony out of these people. Anyway, folks, I'm gonna I'm gonna take some more calls here. Once again, give me a call right now. Five one six four five three nine nine zero three. I want to hear from you. This is a free format edition of the True Capitalist Radio Broadcast, 500th edition. I don't know. Maybe we should ban old Brodies. You know, I'm I'm serious. I'm sick of these pricks. I'm not joking around. Not just the Brodies, just anybody who is a cartoon fetish adult. Get them out! Get them out of here! I should put it up to a vote. I'll tell you that right now. I'll, I'll put it up to a vote on the damn Twitter after the show. Ban old bronies or what? 
How about 336? You're on the horn. What's up? Hey, I just wanted to congratulate you on 500 episodes. Hey, man, I appreciate it. How are you doing on this Baller Friday? I'm doing well. So uh, what what do you have to say? Do you have anything to reminisce about, man? Do you have any comments about the 500th episode, uh, any of the episodes previous? Um, I've been listening since you came back. I haven't really heard any of it before that. Um, I, I didn't really intend to go on, like, a, like make a speech about it, I guess. I was just going to say congratulations. Hey, man, no no problem. Hey, I appreciate you listening in. Keep listening. Pre- I appreciate you saying thank you. Believe me, I could use these words of encouragement, to say the least. I, I need them. I mean, you listen to these damn trolls and cyber vermin out here who, for whatever reason, want to continue to make my life miserable because their lives should have ended years ago. You hear it, for Christ's sake. It's sick. It's stupid. Anyway, let's continue going. This is a free format edition, 500th episode, Baller Friday, Cinco de Mayo, 5th of Mayonnaise, and I got a bottle of Dom P. <laughs> I got a bottle of Dom P, G-H-O-S-T, you know it be me, I'm on the chat, you see, oh my God, I'm rapping, I'm giving people slappings, everybody knows, uh, yeah, who cares, I'm drinking. Ah. Let's continue going, man. I'm having a great time. I hope that you're having a great time. I know I am. How about area code 403? You're on the horn. What's up? Hey, Ghost Pro Honky here. Hey, man, I want to wish you a happy 500th episode. Just sitting here, just lit my cigar, actually. I made an investment on Litecoin, dropped 400 bucks on it when it was 12 bucks, And, hey, now it's near 25 so I've nearly doubled my money. I got to make a shout out if that's okay. Go ahead, man. Hey, man, I got to make a shout out to Maxime Bernier. You know, when uh, Donald Trump started uh, instituting his policies with these migrants here, there's been an absolute flood of undesirables past the border in Canada. And Trump, or sorry, Trudeau, being the cuck that he is, just lets him right in. Maxime Bernier is going to uh, make the military guard the borders, and I think he'll be a, a great compliment to Donald Trump's uh, presidency. Hey, well, thank you very much, and hey, cheers to you there, Pro Honky. I hope that you're smoking something pretty good. Hey, you smoking something uh, light-bodied, medium-bodied, or full-bodied? You know what? I got a Romeo and Juliet 1875. Uh, I got to make a shout-out. There's a a subreddit called Cigars where you can trade with people from the United States and Canada. I got this as part of a trade, and you know what? It's tasting pretty good upon first, uh, first impressions. Hey, man, thank, hey, thank you very much. Romeo, Julieta, ain't too bad. I actually have actually, um, I've actually, uh, have smoked a Romeo, Julieta from Cuba. My favorite Cuban cigar is actually a, a Cohiba. Oh, good God. I mean, that, that, that is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful cigar. But, of course, um, my favorite domestic smoke would po- probably have to be uh, Opus X, which is a special reserve smoke that is only cultivated once a year by Arturo Fuentes' personal, uh, from his personal crop. Uh, Beautiful smoke. Uh, You know, it's second to none. Uh, I do, I love Opus X. It is the premium of premium cigars as it pertains to domestic, um, uh, domestic cigar consumption. So cheers, uh, Pro Honky, man. Thank you for calling up and appreciate the kind words. And hopefully, man, uh, you know, we have some people stand up and rise up in Canada because I'm telling you, Trudeau, you're talking about pure cuckery. You know what I mean? Pure cuckery, man. I mean, this idiot, while Donald Trump was cracking down on immigrants in this country, you had Trudeau opening up the damn borders in Canada saying, hey, come on, eh? Come on over, eh? Are you kidding me? How about 618? You're on the horn. What's going on? What's up, Ghost? It's Kingfish. Hey, what's going on, Kingfish? How you doing, man? Not bad. Just got off work. Wanted to wish you a happy 500th as well as a happy Baller Friday, brother. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Cheers to you, and uh, hopefully that you're going to conduct your Baller Friday in true 
kingfish fashion, uh, going out, possibly potentially uh, hooking up with one of these uh, bimbos. Now, I I don't mean to give your secret away. I do want to talk about it a little bit, man, because we do have a lot of people out here listening that aren't very social and don't know how to, you know, conversate with the opposite sex. So I'm going to just tell them your secret. Your secret is is that you are a capitalist. You are, you know, of the right of the political spectrum, but you purposely go for women that are leftist, liberals, social justice warriors because you know they will drop trowel if you tell them the right things. Am I right or am I wrong? I don't know if I purposely go for them, but it always tends to happen. And it's easy to catch them off guard when you throw something that they're not expecting their way. Because every single male seems to be cucked and willing just to bow down to these women just because they have, what, a golden vagina. And I think we got to stop as men putting the quote-unquote pussy on the pedestal. I can agree to that. Now, you know, since you are a man's man, I mean, I, let me tell you, I, I know Kingfish. He's a part of the inner circle. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a man's man. I mean, can you advise folks that are would otherwise don't know or never been taught or didn't have a father how to approach a woman without making it seem as if they're a desperate bunch of freaks? And can you at least somewhat, because it's very hard to explain, believe me, I know, uh, can you explain to some extent or verbalize what it takes to be able to achieve what what is otherwise a woman's attention? Because that's inevitably what you want. Once you have the woman's attention, then she's into you. And then when she's into you, then the objective is making her want you to ravage her or, you know, you know, go Neanderthal or well, you, you get it. Yeah, but yeah, go ahead. I mean, try to try to verbalize what I'm saying. I'm really messed up right now. Well, goes uh, depending on the situation, I just examine the situation and then use that to my benefit. If there's something going on, if they're uh, trying to look a certain way, I comment on that as my icebreaker, usually saying something uh, funny and attention getting. And then reverting the conversation back on them while asking leading questions. As uh, I can lead the conversation in any way that I want. And then I usually turn it into a little bit of sexual overtone until I get their number and tell them that I will be calling them and that I will be hooking up with them. And uh, I can attest to the fact that he does do this on a consistent basis, very much so. And... All you do is just put yourself in the scenario, correct? You're not doing anything magical. You're not buying these women anything. You're not doing anything special. All you're doing is going out into a social setting that will enable you to be able to go up to a woman and not be creepy about it because they're in the social setting as well. But you break the ice in not desperate fashion. It's more like a, you know, hey, how are you doing, a borderline platonic but still on that fine line of, hey, uh, I'm still kind of checking you out type of look, if you will. Absolutely. I think uh, the hardest thing that people got to get over is the initial fear of approaching someone and having the balls just to not care about the, the what happens in the situation. I mean, the worst thing that someone ever can say is no, and there's – hundreds of people, thousands of people out there, and the hardest thing, again, to do is just say hello. And whatever happens from there is just a matter of fate and your ability to speak and interact with people. I don't say you have to buy people anything. You don't have to cut yourself. You can just be the confident person you are, approach them, and if if it fails, then move on. That's very good advice, man. Do you want to give a shout-out to anybody there, Kingfish? I thank you very much for calling as well, man. I'd say a shout-out to you, the wife, Templeton, and uh, the Inner Circle, as well as the Capitalist Army. Keep on capitalizing. All right. Hey, um, um, what's your name again? Um, Engineer! Do we got any goddamn uh, radio graffiti calls by any chance? All right, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to some radio graffiti calls. Right now! <laughs> All right, 
right, who we got here? Jesus Christ. How about 347 Radio Graffiti? Ghost, we hear you smoking up, man. Keep up the good work. Hey, thank you very much, man. I'm actually, you know, I shouldn't be doing this. This is like freaking weaponized marijuana. I'm not even joking around. This is like weaponized freaking marijuana, for Christ's sake, man. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. People are saying... People are saying that I sound like Alex Jones right now. Uh, that's great. That's great. I hear Alex Jones is hiring, by the way. So all you guys who want a job, you know, you know, my filters, my filters, you can go ahead and apply. <laughs> oh, all right, 618 Radio Graffiti. Oh, I wasn't cute, yo. This is Fish. Oh, man, my bad. Hey, thank you for calling up, Fish. Yeah, I'm sorry. How about uh, 818 Radio Graffiti? Hey, Joe. Happy 500th show. I was going to uh, rip this bowl off the audience. Congratulations. Oh, man, man. Amy Daly, she's toking up on site. Are you taking hits from the bong? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, let me take another one. <laughs> oh, God damn. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Well, cheers to you, Amy Daly. And man, everybody, everybody's, everybody's getting high tonight. Everybody, everybody getting high tonight. Is it a Mexican thing? Because the Mexicans shove the goddamn weed up their ass to get smuggled into this country, and that's why we're consuming it or some garbage? Is there a correlation between Cinco de Mayo and smoking the, the pot? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Anyway, cheers, Amy Daly. Good to hear from you. How about 985, Raider Graffiti? Hey, guys, I just want to say I already tweeted you some stuff, but it seems like uh, some people are trying to get your um... – your broadcast is taken down, it seems. Yeah, um, well, you know, I mean, if they do, well, then, you know, the trolls should go after them accordingly. I mean, what do you want me to do about it? You know, if I get taken down, I get taken down. You know who to, you know who to blame, you know what I mean? I mean, the whole damn 4chan, you know, poll fury should go after those folks. Not even joking. I mean, if I get taken down, you know who to blame. I'm just saying, just saying. Okay. No crap. Was that Lucy and Wintrich? Who was that? <laughs> How about eight three one Radio Graffiti? Hey, what's going on, Ghost? It's Leonard. I'm just uh, calling in to wish you a happy five hundred and a uh, happy Cinco de Mayo. And also, hey, thank you very much. And I- hey, hey, Leonard, look, we're we're gonna get you back into the damn uh, chat here. Uh, just give me some time. As a matter of fact, capitalist Mao. Uh, I, I got you. I got. I, I've got. Uh, who else? I got smug bastards. A couple of people that I got to get to the chat. But uh, don't worry about it. I got you guys. Uh, believe me, you're not missing much, uh, other than maybe some. Um, I don't know. Maybe some very very foul mouthed uh, conversation. That's about. <laughs> that's about it. Uh, how about this? Uh, how about uh, Jesus Christ? There's nothing but anonymous numbers here. I don't want to take anonymous. I don't want you people to ruin my damn Baller Friday 500th edition Cinco de Mayo. You understand? I don't want you all to do that. How about 619 Radio Graffiti? Hola, ¿cómo estás, Ghost? Aquí, Asho. Uh, Hey, it's Asho, man. How you doing, man? Happy Cinco de Mayo. Good to hear from you, man. How you doing? Pretty good already here. Um, I just ate... I just ate some uh, Jack in the Box tacos, and uh, you know the 99 cent tacos that they sell at Jack in the Box. I just ate them to celebrate the uh, Cinco de Mayo, and yeah, like a true Mexican. I love Mexican food, especially when it's Americanized. Uh, to be honest with you, I mean those uh, 99 cent Jack in the Crack tacos ain't too bad, man. I mean, I don't know what yeah. they're putting in it. I mean, obviously, it's not. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say what's in there. It's obviously not beef. 
maybe it is beef. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's it's it it, it gives a little bit of a what do you a little bit of spice going on. You got the grease going on, a little bit of the crisp of the taco. Uh, I like it, man. What 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 do you what, what do you think? Yeah, um, I like it too. Um, it it kind of it kind of looks like cat food if you kind of like compare it to cat food. But I mean. You know, you never know. If, if uh, you know, good. Ash, I don't need to hear that. It looks like freaking cat food. Jesus Christ! Freaking buzzkill! Look, I'm trying to make a decent, like, you know, uh, I'm trying to give, like, some props to some cheap food so that folks that are out there that want to save a buck on, like, you know, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, on a late-night meal or something, that Jack and the Crack Tacos ain't too bad. And you're sitting over here saying that it looks like cat food? I mean, give me a break. Jeez, man. Give me the freaking mic. Give me the the mic. Freaking cat food, man. Come on, man. Who do we have? Who else do we got going on over here? How about 979 Raider Graffiti? Jesus Christ, that's great. I'm I'm glad that you waited for two and a half hours so that you could do that. You know what I mean? That's that's America right there. Ain't that America? Good Lord. How about 269 Raider Graffiti? Hey, happy 500 episodes, Ghost. Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate it, man. I, hey, look, I appreciate all the good, uh, the good comments, man. I mean, it's it's. I need it. I need it to say the least. God damn it, I need it. What a baller Friday this is, baby. I'm loving it. I'm loving this 500th episode of True Capitalist Radio, man. I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it. How about eight three one, Radio Graffiti. Oh hey, it's me again. Oh man, hey. sorry. I'm. I mean, we need. We need, how about how about three five two Raider Graffiti? What the hell to me of the trap is? Every time you do a goddamn freaking splice, why is it that you have to rape me? I mean, can so, can you explain that to me? Can somebody explain that? You just can hold back, could you, Thomas? You want to know why I'm doing this? Not for some Chinese nut job, but because of. And I hate to keep beating my grandmother here, but. <laughs> I'm not cooking your dinner unless I get my goddamn money. Get back in the kitchen where you belong, but... I raped your grandmother so you pay more attention to how weak she is. And now, I'm going to rape the reason you left her. Raiden Snake. Shut his fake bit. And until then, Thomas, you keep fucking it up like this. I don't want it anymore. I pray for that. I don't want to see you sing with that. It's just going to keep happening and happening. <laughs> you know... You know, everything was going just fine. You know what I mean? Everything was just going just great until we had to have this sick, disgusting, pathetic ridiculousness. You know what I mean? I'm not joking around. I I cannot believe this. It's sick, disgusting, ridiculous. You know what? Cartoon fetish adult morons, they want to 
sit over here and pretend like there's nothing wrong with them, that they're completely normal. You are not normal, okay? This is, when you all get together, this is the kind of stuff that you people think up. This is what you all think is humorous here. That's what I'm saying. 352, Radio Graffiti. I'm not an iron lung like you stupid reefer addicts out there. You see, I didn't cough on that one, man. I'm getting the iron lung now. Hey, look. Hey, shut up, all right? Just shut up. I've evolved, okay? I've evolved on that issue. So just shut up. Jesus Christ, man. I'm telling you, man. 915, Radio Graffiti. Yeah, great. A Helen Keller deaf mute. All right, that's, that's, yeah, okay. Great. Good God. Who else do we have here? How about 352, Radio Graffiti? We've got, uh, oh, there's eight equal. Oh, that's great. Diamond Mike for Ghost. Yeah, you know, I can agree to that. My hell with a golden, my guy. I deserve the diamond microphone, boy. Oh, what a legacy. What a legacy. Again, what a lovely tribute to the late Raiders. Now, it is now time to hand out the final award chosen by the people. Now, all the votes have been counted, tallied, and finalized. The winner of the first ever Block Rock Radio Diamond Microphone Award goes to Ghost of True Cowboys Radio. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, all you judging me, they can't get enough of me, can't they? <laughs> you can't get enough of me, huh? Come keep on. on, keep on, keep on. I'm the one. I'm the one. Come on. I'm sorry, folks. I think I read the card wrong. Um, I'm sorry. I don't like when people say that before I'm about to, like, you know, what the what the hell are you showing me? The second runner-up on the tally vote was Ghost. What? what? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 just a second. And the, the true winner Hold on of the Black Talk Radio Diamond Microphone goes to the engineer. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, this is not a joke. To, uh, are you serious? Apologies, engineer, but here you go. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? What? Yeah, 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 what? I can't believe you would do this to me on my 500th goddamn episode of True K. Ca- I just, son of a. You know, I thought this was going to be a very good, chill, kickback party episode, Cinco de Mayo episode. But of course, you know. I just can't get away. I can't get away from these idiots. I can't get away from these goddamn trolls. I can't. I can't get away from it. I, I just. I can't get away from it. For Christ's sake, man. Jesus Christ, man. Give me the mic. Give me the mic. Let me, oh, let me bring back a friendly face, man. Hey, Raiden Snake, are you there, man? Yeah, I am, and you know it's the last two calls. They both reference me again. You know, I pathetic. know, man. I, I, I have no idea what the hell is going on once again, man. I, I'm getting sick of this as much as you are. I can understand why you want to kind of go away and, and that sort of thing. I mean, do you want to have any last words to these people before? It's it's a 500th episode it's kind of a big deal. It's going to go down in history. Uh, well, you, you want anything? I'm just sick and tired of the trolls, go. Son and drop you. I'm really sick and tired of the fucking assholes. I'm sick and tired. It's just a little bullshit. It's getting prophetic. It's getting. It's taking the piss. And it's, it's fucking boring, you know? It's just the same bullshit. 
time and time again, and they think it's fuck, some kind of sick fucking joke. I don't. I'm sick of it. I'm, d- I'm sick to death of it. I've fucking had enough. Excuse my bluntness here. No, it's okay, Raiden Snake, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm sincerely sorry that you have to put up with this type of crap, man. I want to tell you that you are always welcome here, regardless of what these adult cartoon fetish assholes think or say or try to do. But you're always welcome here, and screw these damn troll assholes, all right? Screw them, all right? Screw their asses. Oh, Jesus Christ. Who else do we have here, man? We got, um, is this the Arabian Prince? Man, no way. That's not the Arabian Prince. What the hell's going on, man? I mean, why do you, I, you know what? I don't have time to even worry about it. How about 423, Radio Graffiti? Yo, what the hell is that? What the fuck? I knew you were having an affair with that bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ, no. My wife. It's time to take out this cyber vermin. Get away. Get away. I'm armed. Get away. Oh, God. You saved my life. How can I ever repay you? Dump a batch of cupcakes right here on my face. Mmm. <laughs> oh, this is great. I mean, if I'm going to get in trouble, you got to be some kind of consolation prize, you know what I mean? Ah. Uh, what? You sick son of a bitch, perverted son of a You're sick! You perverted! You see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about, folks? This is what I'm talking about. These are these cartoon finished assholes. This is what I'm talking about, man. Good God. Man, not even, not even, not even on my 500th episode, for Christ's sake, you son of a bitch. Uh, I mean, what the hell am I doing? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? I mean, seriously, man, what am I doing here? Give me the freaking mic. Look at the mic! What am I doing here, man? Good God, man. How about anonymous radio graffiti? My name is... Uh, well, it, it, we would have expected that from probably the autistic plague. What else is new? Anonymous radio graffiti. <laughs> there was a hole, was a hole in, my life. in my life, and now it's filled with Jesus. Filled with Jesus. There was a, hole was a hole in my wife. Oh, in wife. Her hole. That, that's great. I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of you. Uh, how about... Uh, We'll, we'll give Anonymous one more chance. Anonymous Radio Graffiti. Right back in my hometown. Hey, here we go again. You know, the autistic plague and possibly mass pony and uh, all them other fruit bowls. Very funny. How about Anonymous Radio Graffiti? Hey, Germit, tickle my anus. Okay, don't mind if I do. <laughs> What the hell? I see something coming out. Uh oh. Poo poo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Get this idiot. Get that stupid sick. Get sick perverted. You see? You see? You see? You see the kind of crap I gotta put up with, right? Not a. I mean, look. This is, 
This is what I got to deal with on a consistent basis, man. This is a kind of autistic cringe, man. Oh! It pisses me off. Look, we're going to... Well, how about one more? 910 Radio Graffiti. Hey, guys. No, I'm about the trolls and everything. Happy 500 episode and happy single to my old man. I just got an award, so I'm just showing out. Uh, hope you have hey, a good man. One. Thank you very much. You know what? That's a great That's a great way to end it. Thank you very much, folks. 500 episodes, 500 more. Stay tuned. Tomorrow, Saturday Night Troll Show, 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. You better be here. I sure as hell will. And happy Cinco de Mayo, baby. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going out. I, 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 I'm, I'm painting the town, baby. I am out of here. I am out. Get this goddamn mic out of my 